What's up, everybody? It's Danny back here again at Excellent Sound with my buddy Parker Ament. What's up, guys? The whole crew is here in the back. Show yourself. Bam. And without Ba-blam. further ado, we're going to be making this new R.L. Grimes song called I Want to Know. Sounds a little something like this. She really wants to know. Will you tell her? Yeah, I'll tell her everything she needs to know. <laughs> We're here wearing Sephora outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of the mall. All in red and black. <laughs> Got mistaken for a Sephora employee. That is a true story. We're Shout mis- out to uh, Jacket. Shout out to Sephora. Was. Face cream. <laughs> Why was I there? Don't ask me questions. Uh, yeah, guys. So we're going to be making this lead. It sounds like this. We just showed you. And R.L. Grime is back, dude. He's fucking back, dude. He's back with a vengeance, Where did he even go? I I don't know. He he calmed down the trap a little bit. He calmed down the trap arms. A little bit. Now he's doing a little bit of future bass. Yeah, I like it. You said this was big room, and you're way off. I said this was like- (laughs) not big room. Big room, like EDM. (laughs) It's big progressive house, I guess. You you just go like this. You just put your arms in the air. Yeah, it's worship. It's worship music. (laughs) It's worship EDM. (laughs) Worship EDM. It's it's youth group EDM. (laughs) So I'm going to be going through some of the sounds, show you guys the elements of this. We're going to show you guys how to make this sound and kind of reference some other ones so you guys understand. Like I said, the first thing is this lead, which I just showed you. We're going to show you guys in the download description below. You guys We'll have it for free. So make sure you guys give us a nice saturated subscription. Oh, yes. A saturated webscription. And before we start, actually, Future what? Bass is going to be out I April 1st. I was going to say that. Well, you took too long, man. You don't, you Everybody's don't all excited I'm about doing. the Future Bass. Uh, but yeah, we got public <laughs> yep. pre-sale Up. in the description yep. down below. Get uh, it. We already sent it to the executive elite excellent mm-hmm. uh we, we got a you couple pre sales already. Yeah, we got a couple pre sales already, and uh, we are excited to let you guys into it. Yes, yeah, so so, we're using some of the sounds in this remake right now too, so you can kind of see it. Some yeah, exactly. And stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool layers in this track yeah. that uh, we were just listening to, and we're just keep you know layering it in. So it was really cool. Exactly. And what do they do? They save money if they get the pre sale. Uh, yes, you guys oh, actually save. Sure. What is it, Baker? You save like. Uh, yeah, you save ten bucks. Ten bucks. Fuck it. it. We just said it right now. Fuck yeah. It was five dollars. Now it's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. Now it's ten bucks. So go down below, hit that link, and pre-sale it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So without further ado, again, I'm gonna get right into ado. this. Uh, we got a couple elements. We got the lead, which I just show you. The other thing, we have this nice little kick, which will be in Future Bass, the signature series folder, uh, along with all the other YouTube videos that we have done prior since Cartel. Nice little fat kick I got for you. It sounds exactly the same. That's right, because we're studs. Oh, yeah. Uh, next thing we got is the R.L. Grime snare, which I fucking love the snare. Uh. It's nice. And then also I got uh, this little marching snare that kind of happens. He does this little thing. It goes like, uh, I kind of want to solo the drums. I should probably put them in a group. Fuck it. There it goes. That big room snare, dude. Uh, I'm using some brass from the Signature Series folder of Cartel. If you guys don't already know about Cartel, it's on our website. Uh, it is a smash success. We've sold seven Smashing million copies. Seven mil. Seven mil. Breaking records, Breaking dude. Breaking Rex. <laughs> Breaking Rex. And it sounds a little something like this. I just put a shitload of reverb on it. Parker pointed out that we were missing it. Other elements in here, there's some chords in the background that we could hear. They're very subtle. And actually, these chords are what will be in Future Bass. Uh, I, will sh- I will open that oh, up yes. real quick. Uh, but it will be, uh, you guys will have to get that when you guys buy the pack. But Can't give that to you for free. And this is the cool thing about the this, like I said, for these presets that I designed, I, I really wanted to make sure that you can use them in an element, which is kind of cool. Uh, they can completely change the sound by just moving a knob. Just a lot of stuff like that. Just a lot of cool stuff that I was pretty stoked about doing. So, yeah, check that out for in Future Bass. Uh, also, some other elements we are using. Uh, we're using a little vocal sample from the end. Right? Uh, I got a little yeah, and then I got some hats. And these hats are the hats from Future Bass, believe it or not. This is an open hat. Sounds a little something like this. Believe it. Beautiful. Oh, my oh, God. That's the that best open hat I've ever hat. fucking heard in my life. And then this closed hat. That C hat? Oh, my God. I just oh, came. I'm just so kidding. amazing. <laughs> All right, so that's all the elements. I don't want to spend too much time showing that. Let's hear how they all sound together again. Hands 
up for God. I feel like I'm at youth group. Yeah, right. Did they? They had Jewish youth group too, right? Yeah, what was definitely. It, called? it was just uh, it was, I don't know. It was just Jewish youth group. Just I guess youth group. <laughs> there was no special name for it. <laughs> was it the same thing? Yeah. Like, there's like worship band. They like play, they sound like a shitty version of U2. And like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, enough about church. Let's worship, get <laughs> worship. All right, I'm gonna make a new MIDI track. The preset in the rack is download <laughs> download description below. <laughs> You guys, shout out to youth group. If you shout ever out to all group. your youth groups. Macked on chicks. The youths. Youth <laughs> the youths. Shout out to all the youths out there. <laughs> all right, I'm going to drag down this MIDI. This MIDI is cool. Uh, I should open it up, too, because people probably want to see that. It's got some pitch bending just kind of going up and down. Beautiful pitch bend. Portamento, beautiful pitch bend. Uh, this sound kind of sounds like a guitar. Uh, there is another preset that I have in Future Bass that's kind of like I accidentally made a guitar. It's Don Parker. Yeah. It's like a... Uh, it's just kind of a cool way of uh, I found like a new way to do like an envelope, which we're gonna kind of do in this one. Um, so I'm pretty excited to be able to like make actual. I'm trying to make more like realistic sounding instruments yeah. this year lately. You know, and this song is kind of cool because of the drop. It's literally that one sound, and it's not even like yeah. a giant fucking crazy sound. You know what I'm saying? But and it's, it's this the song's fucking big. Yeah, you know it's fucking I mean? huge. It's, it's fucking big room. Big dude. room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, guys, is we're not using uh, default wavetables. We're using just some other basic wavetables. We're going to use Genji. Uh, it's an analog just like that. Go to Genji. Is that from Lord of the Rings? Genji. Is that a Lord of the Rings character? Sam Genji. Oh, Samwise Genji. Samwise? Bro, that, him and Frodo had some is shit that him, going dude? on, dude. If you oh, know what I'm dude, talking about. for sure. Right? With their hairy fucking feet and stuff. Dude, they were looking, they were looking deep in each other's eyes. Dude. Soups deep. Yeah, they were really into good their friends. eye sockets. Kind of like how we are. In their eye, yeah. <laughs> Deep in your eye soul. Why are you why are you moving it, dude? Let me fucking see it. Oh, it's right here. I know where I already got it, dude. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Set that to four <laughs> waves of unison, just like so. Wavetable position is going to be at twenty five. Yep. Twenty five. Uh we're gonna set this to sync. Just hit the arrow right there. Bam, sync. There it is. Set sync to around one point eight zero. Parker, I can't see you, so I don't know if I'm seeing it right. 1.6. 1.6. I was way off. Perfect. Uh, turn the level all the way down. And uh, detune, we're going to point to like right there. Say so 0.14. Blend is good. Phase is good. Turn the random down. I think what this random does is that every time – I don't fucking know, so everyone's going to judge me. Shut up. Uh, I think what it does is it's like a, a trigger for it, actually. So like if it's all the way up, it's going to be trigger, or so if it's all the way on random, it's not going to trigger the – the waveform in the same spot. If it's all the way down, it's going to trigger it every single time at the beginning cool. of the waveform. I think I did just explain that right. So fuck you, haters. Yeah, so uh, I want to talk you know, shit to fucking comment. haters, bro. You want to comment shit? <laughs> fuck you, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm Love just kidding. It. Comment down below what you think. Yeah. <laughs> comment down below. We need all comments. It helps us. Uh, okay, next thing we're going to do is oscillator B is going to be a basic shape. Basic, like so. Oh, I should probably play how it's sounding together now. Let me turn this shit off. Uh, and make this a saw wave, I think, right? No, all the way up. Turn it to, what is this thing called again? Pulse like the, width? Uh, yeah, the pulse. Pulse, pulse width? Wave. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, it's doing the pitch bending, that's why. Okay. Um, set this to three waves of unison. Uh, octave is zero. Wave table all the way up. We already went over that. And then we're going to put it on mirror. I like mirror. Mirror gets forgotten, dude. Mirrors are tight. That's nice. Turn the mirror up to 44%. Damn, I'm like doing it without even, I'm like getting better at like no, just look looking at that, at that shit. and not even knowing. You're dude. just like, you're feeling it. Yeah. Level is going to be at 61 is what we're looking for. Just like so. And let's turn that random all the way down. Blend knob's good. Detune is going to go kind of pointed at the three, a little bit less. 0.02. Nice. 0.03. 0.03. Damn yeah. it. I almost got it. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into envelope one. Envelope one is gonna look a little, a little wonky. Uh, it's going to be at twenty three milliseconds. Wait, yeah, twenty three yeah. milliseconds for the attack. Uh, decay is gonna be at. Oh yeah. Sorry, makeup. <laughs> I hate burping in the microphone. Sorry, I I really do. Uh, nine nine, nine fives. fives. Uh, nine nine fives. Sustain's gonna be at minus thirty one. Yeah. What the fuck did I do to myself? Oh yeah, look at that. It's gonna be like a an S-velope. S-velope. And then release is gonna be at halfway, right, Parker? Yeah. 
Halfway, that looks good. About five hundo. Okay, and then the other thing I did is I rounded this guy like this. Oh, look at that nice I don't know round. why I did that. Round that bitch out. Kind of gives a nice little bounce with the release. Yeah, you know? nice little bob. I like messing. A lot of times people forget about that envelope, man. The envelope does a lot of shit. It does. Mm. People just go straight into filters and LFOs, bro. Filtered up. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's add a noise oscillator. And we're going to use organ. What am I using? Uh, glass lid. I know. But it's a... Oh, attack miscellaneous. Yeah, glass lid number five, five is what we're looking for. Same call. This is like the pluckiest. Uh, turn that all the way up. Uh, turn the phase to halfway. Oh, I sang that halfway. Uh, did you just turn some shit off? Yeah, but what are you I trying to fuck me up, bro? I turned it back what on. What are you doing? Dude? I turned it back on. Dude. I was here trying to fun. figure out the sound, trying to fuck it up for fun. everybody. This is what you got to be doing at home. This is what you got to be doing. Got to be playing around. <laughs> got to be fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> got to be fucking around. You have and to. If you're not fucking around, you can just download it in the description down below, along and, with uh, and then just not watch us. And then just fuck click around. that little link that says Future Bass presale. Future Bass Save presale. Save ten dollar right now. Oh yeah. All right. Fucking, <laughs> so fucking awkward. The fucking, the fucking fish bass, dude. We're here. We work at Sephora, and on the, our day job, <laughs> Sephora is our day job. If you don't know what Sephora is, look it up. Look up the employee uniforms, and you will see us. Uh, go ahead and uh, set it to one shot and key tracking. This is one shot, so that just means it's only going to hit once when you hit the mini note. And then uh, this key tracking is going to try to keep it in the relative pitch of where it should be. Uh, the pitch is going to be at point minus, oh, sorry, minus nine, Parker. Yep. Try to get this exact. This kind of matters because that's the actual pitch of it. It just kind of adds a little bit of clickiness. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, – let's make our first uh, – yeah, let's make our first uh, LFO. Okay, now this is a cool – I kind of learned this from somewhere else um, where I just kind of figured it out too. But it's like this is why it sounds kind of like a guitar is because the envelope looks like this. Um or a lot of like wind instruments are kind of similar to this. This is like the shape of which they kind of naturally go, essentially. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put this on to LFO 1. And we're also going to put it on to LFO 2, like so. So it's opening up loud, and then it's shutting really quick, and then it's kind of opening up back again. I set it to trigger, and it's on quarter notes, so that should be pretty good, and everything else is pretty much stock. Nice. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. This filter is going to be miscellaneous, and we're going to do, oh, I'm sorry, flanges, flangers. Flanger. Flanger minus. Yep. Make sure B is going there. Uh, make sure the key tracking is also uh, on set to being on. Oh, let's hear how it's sounding all together. <laughs> Can't hear shit yet. Okay, we'll get there. Almost. Uh, the figure, uh, what this key tracking is going to do is every time you hit a key, it's going to put it in the relative pitch. Uh, it's going to move the filter for you, essentially. Uh, and what I did here is I have the cutoff down to uh, 100 hertz. 100. 100. Come on. All right, 99. Fuck it. Uh, resonance is at 12? Yep. 12. I put it up too. 12%. I was like, you know what this needs? 2%. Because that fucking matters. Extra uh, tuper. Ep extra tuper. Mix knob down to mix, Parker. There we are. 58s. 58. And then the drive is set to 33s. Trace, trace. Bam. Also, let's go ahead and put it on mono right now. Did you fuck with the portamento? Or did I turn it off? No, I think you turned it off. Well, you can turn the portamento on if you want. It kind of—I was doing that initially because of the, the the pitching, but then I realized that he actually went in there and pitched it himself. Yeah. But if you want to turn the portamento on, you can do that if you feel like it. With it being on mono too, it throws the the reverb a little bit too. Yeah, which exactly. Is nice. Which I really like. Um, let's go ahead and make uh, LFO two. LFO two is just gonna be like your standard web. Just like oh, so. Yeah, look at that. Just pull that pull that guy up, round that bitch up. Um, next thing we're gonna do is set that to envelope. And we're also gonna put that to quarter notes, which is good. Now this is gonna go onto the mirror. This is gonna what this is why mirror is cool. I'm gonna shift option or shift windows click, send it back and forth, and set it to minus twenty. So we need to go all the way backwards <laughs> to minus twenty. Kind of does a lot, but let me bypass it real quick. Just gives it a like more movement in the sound, like almost like yeah. vibrating, almost vibrating. 
Vibration. Vibration. Jacket. <laughs> Hold Jacket. on. That brick. Vapin. That'd be tight if we could. Why don't we have fucking sound effects? Oh, dude, we can get the push and we'll just fucking. Beep. We'll just trigger some beep, shit. Beep, beep, beep. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, we like, really need to do some that. audience laughing we and shit. We need to step up our production. Well, you guys have any ideas for a production? Also, too. Oh, actually, no, I'll get into that. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, LFO one is good. Uh, the drive. I don't know if I said this. The drives it. Yeah, thirty three. Okay. Uh, LFO two is good. All right, let's make envelope two. Envelope two is gonna look a little something like this. Boop. Pull it down just like so. Turn the attack to thirty three milliseconds. Yep. Come on. Apparently, I really like thirty three. All right, thirty four. Uh, hold all the way down. Decay. Decay. Three oh eight. That's what we're looking at. 314, that works. Uh, sustain, all the way down. The oh, release is 15 milliseconds. Oh, yeah. And then this is going to go on, what, detune? Yep. Oh, yeah, I haven't barely doing anything. <laughs> I think I had it initially trying to do, like... Because I wanted it going on a de de like detuning a little bit. Yeah. But what did I put it at? One? Two. Oh, two. Put two. it at two. And we did this in the San Holo video, but for envelope three, this is another cool thing I've been messing around with. It's kind of like just a sharp pluck. And now this is actually going to matter. I know it's going to sound kind of ridiculous, but it does. I'll show you why it does. Uh, I'm going to turn the release lever where it's at. Uh, this is where it's at. Attack is at 0 0.05, which is good. Decay is 78 milliseconds. 76. 76. So I'll turn that sev 6. Okay. And I explained this before. That this little knob, whatever the fuck, somebody told me what it was. You need to pull that shit all the way down. Like, oh no, I have a little spiky. Yeah, a do little a little spike. spiky. Okay, now watch. Let's hear it. Now I'm going to put this onto oscillator A, I believe. Right, Parker? Uh, course pitch of oscillator. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to turn it all the way down to zero. And it sounds it's it's legitimately doing something even though it's set to zero, which is kind of yeah, interesting. Yeah, like fuzzes the attack a little bit. Yes. Now initially I had I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't do that on purpose. Like initially I had had it on like trying to make it more plucky. Clicky, yeah. Um, and it wasn't really working the way I wanted to, but then I pulled it down and I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. But it was yeah, like totally. there was a difference. So it's I don't know why if it's like an algorithm because it's not supposed to be working. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because it's at zero. Like a saturator, like a lot of people don't. Oh, nugs and notch. Here we go. Bam. A saturator. What it does is it does perceived volume. It ah, sounds yes. louder uh, than it actually is. Mm -hmm. That's why you guys have RMS. Which RMS? If you're looking at Ableton on the uh, the meter, RMS is that light green thing. That's kind of that's the perceived volume of it or relative uh, volume, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. then um, what a saturator will do was essentially you can have something be a lower volume in on your channel. Uh, and, it's sat and have a saturator on it and something with a higher volume and they'll sound exactly similar or the saturator could sound louder. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, that's why uh, mixes, it, you, it's almost like tricking the computer. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, you can essentially uh, get your mixes a lot louder using saturations. And I know this is nothing to do with saturation, but I'm just saying like it's just another thing. It's like yeah. somehow whatever algorithm I did changes the sound. Yeah, even if you though turn it's it up, zero. If you turn it up plus uh, four on the drive knob and then turn it down minus four, right. it still it sounds louder. Exactly. Nugs of notch. You guys Nugs just learned something. There you are. Hopefully it was correct information. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll get corrected if it's not. That'd be great if they ended the nugs of notch right there. Hopefully yeah. it was correct information. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this on. Also, uh, envelope uh, three is going to go on the course pitch of uh, oscillator B. And we're going to set that to 17. Oop. We're going to set that to 17. It's going to be going forward, right, Parker? Yeah. So shift, yeah. option, or shift, windows, click. Bam, 17. Nice. All right, I think we're looking pretty good, right, Parker? Yeah, we're looking great. We got envelope one. We got envelope two. Envelope three. Envelope, level for one, level for two. Great. Um, I think that's good on this page, right? Yep. All right, now let's get into the effects. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. Just like so, load preset. Or no, sorry, load. Uh, that'd be funny if I fucked up. Load effect chain. Uh, simple effect chain, guys. Really easy. Let's hear how it's sounding. I'm going to turn this off real quick, though. Let's hear how it's sounding in the mix with everything. <laughs> Thank you.
And I added some uh, the reverb filter, which is uh, I thought was a good. Uh, yeah, I know it's like reverb filters kind of played out, <laughs> but it's 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 not always just used for wubs, okay, guys and subs. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different elements. Obviously, if you the other thing I learned about the reverb filter, I'm trying to add like information that's helpful to people, but like. If you turn down the cutoff all the way and turn the resonance up, you're going to get an insane, crazy reverb sound. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I turn the cutoff all the way up, you probably won't even really notice it that much. So what I have is I have it set to reverb. It's a miscellaneous right there if you don't know where that is. Cutoff's at 112. Resonance is at 30. Drive is at 11. Damp is at 7's 5's. And pan is at 50. And the mix is at 51. <laughs> It's kind of like phasing it and spreading it out a little bit more, which is kind of cool. Uh, next thing I did is I added some OTT, uh, multi-band, just like so. Compressor, thresholds at minus 14.8, ratios at 4 over 1, attacks at 58.3, releases at 90, gains at 11, and the mix is at 85. Should be oh, sounding nice. like this. Let's... There it is. Yeah. The sound activator. Exactly. And the last thing I did is I added a reverb to make some space. Uh, I put size at 35, decay at 4.7, low cut down, high cut 35, spin 25, and spin depth 20. It's probably stock, to be honest with you. I yeah. usually don't really fuck with a lot of shit. And then turn your master volume Smooths down. it out, too. Yeah. Turn it down to, like, right there. Because now we're going to get into... Processing. Processing. Uh, I got the rack in the download description for you guys below. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy this and we're going to go in one by one and see what it's doing. How are we doing, Park? We're doing great. Fucking Hollywood over here, dude. Getting Fucking blown up like a mofucker. Hollywood, dude. We're almost done. Don't you fuck. We're fucking great. I'm having a great time. I'm it's having a fantastic you guys. time. You guys have a good uh, St. Patrick's Day. Shout yeah. out to all my Irish friends. Shout out. I'm Irish. I have a red beard. I look like Christian Bale. Thank you, whoever said that. Appreciate it. Somebody, yeah, you're Christian Bale, and uh, somebody said I'm like Macklemore. Yeah, that's <laughs> Did you so see that? retarded. I've, I, I don't see it at all. Roger Klotz looks like Macklemore from Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, I did actually on Instagram. Uh, okay, so I got a little bit of processing here. We're going to make it really simple. Uh, because it's like kind of guitar sounding, I kind of want to show them the guitar preset. I'm going to do that at the end. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of a little uh, guitar sounding. Oh, actually, I don't know if I, I don't have it in here. I have it on my hard drive. Oh, well. We'll do like a little bonus later. Yeah, we'll do it later. Okay, so overdrive is the first thing. I got the drive all the way up to 62. I uh, pulled the filter up like this. It's 734 and 9.0. Tones at 52. Dynamics all the way down. We don't want any compression on it. And 55%. I like the compressor built into the overdrive. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll just, I'll like literally turn the drive and the tone down. Yeah, that's that was the first thing that I like started learning when, when I couldn't get the overdrive right. I started fucking with the dry wet and then it was really getting nice. It's essentially like a one, I know, I just started learning that too, but it's essentially like one band filter right here. Yeah. You know, it's like almost, I mean, it's a multi band compressor, but it's, it's great for fucking on everything. It. I don't know. Man. It's not a multi band, it's a single band, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, it should be sounding like this. That makes yeah, it sound really guitar y. Is that loud? Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, next We're thing loud. I got is OTT. Apparently, I turned the highs off. I don't fucking know why. <laughs> I do shit. Go for the sound. I just got the mids and I got the lows. I bet you that was an accident, but it sounds good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then it's at uh, 16%. Should be sounding like this. <laughs> Damn, that's clipping like motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, I need to turn this shit down. Turn it down to a little bit. Minus so it's loves. Nice. Minus loves. That works. Okay, and then the last thing I got is some reverb. Reverb is just kind of stock. Usually decays at 7.48, really big reverb, 31%. Huge. I did it after OTT. Oh. Sometimes I do it after. I don't know. I always like doing it after. You tell me to put it before. Yeah, I'll, it just depends. Putting it before can can do really great or can <sighs> really suck. Uh, so, yeah, that's how the reverb looks. 31%, basic 7.48. This is all stock. And then I just did a little filtering like that. And now, all together, it should be sounding something like this. <laughs> And also, I forgot to uh, just do a little low cut of EQ right there. Cut out all that bullshit you don't need. Just keep playing it, bro. Let's go. Endless loop. I feel like I'm in a Dude Perfect video. Oh, Dude Perfect. <laughs> the music they use is like straight up like, I'm pretty sure it's like Christian bands, which is cool. Whatever. Yeah. But like, 
It's just so epic. So and bad. happy. Yeah. It's just like, oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, that is how you do it. Uh, don't forget to uh, download that in the download description below. We are at XLNT Sound for the social. Don't forget April 1st, guys. April, April 1st. April motherfucking 1st. April motherfucking 1st. Future bass. Uh, future bass. Future bass. Future bass. Future bass. I'm fucking stoked. Yes. Uh, Super stoked on that shit. We will have the demo soon. Yeah, we're gonna have the demo. It should be. Uh, it should be up now, right? Yeah, no? it should be up in the uh, in the link of yeah. the presale. We're gonna have everything ready for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys uh, check it out. Uh, like I said, this this uh, presale will be in the download description below. Uh, thank you guys for joining us as always. Thank you guys for. I mean, we're getting so many fucking. We're getting so many emails. Can and I tell so them? much love. And also too, like uh, we just. Uh, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, we. Uh, we went ahead and signed on with uh, Sounds.com, and you can actually, yep. if you guys are on Sounds.com, which is Native Instruments uh, sample uh, subscription, uh, you guys can get Dub Sauce there. So really, really cool. Yeah, and actually, it's actually a, it's, there's some exclusive stuff in that Dub Sauce of like one shots and stuff that we added just for uh, Sounds.com. So look yep. for more stuff on there eventually. Uh, we're gonna be slowly adding more packs to yes. them. It's gonna be great. A lot of exclusive content. Uh, we're super excited about that. This is kind of like the uh, the first kind of third party uh place that we're giving our sounds out so exactly. uh check it out if you're not on sounds.com sign up it's really dope and it's uh inexpensive too and you get tons of different sounds yeah you guys really, get really tons cool. of stuff um yeah it's a really really great uh it's a really great platform we wanted to do something a little different and also yeah. too, we got some really really big announcements I super wanna... super huge can i, I always want to ask you secrets can yeah you secret nope quick? nope okay. <laughs> damn it we can we can announce it later you don't even know what I was going to say. I think I know what you're going to say. I was going to talk. Maybe. To no, you don't. I don't think you do. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that's that's that. I just want to talk about, is it, is it I just talk about uh, some friends of ours. I mean, we can, we, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay, we'll talk, we'll about, talk about, it. about it later. But the Future Bass, when we do the Future Bass video, uh, we will talk about that. Yes. yes. We've got some really cool, cool stuff. So look for that coming soon. We're going to show you guys how to write a Future Bass drop. Yeah. Right? That'd be pretty tight. So you thank know, you guys. You know how we do it yeah, when we when exactly. we release a new pack. Exactly. Big videos. Also, too, if you guys want to send us your music, uh, if you want to be featured in our uh, live stream or in one of our videos, we will play your music. We don't have any music today because we just wanted to do this one really quick because we were so really stoked about the RL Grime. Uh, yeah. But it's uh, X, XLNT feedback at Gmail, right? Yep. That is the new one. And please only send us SoundCloud links, guys. Don't send us MP3s. I can't fucking download all that shit. It's yeah, too much. Yeah, we can't do it. Uh, we will get back to you uh, if you want feedback or you just want to hear your shit. Hit us up. And also, too, if you exactly. want to send us uh, business inquiries, we do production, mixing, mastering. We've been working with some of you guys. Mentoring is now on the table. Uh, it should be added to official tab to our website. I don't know if it's up now or, or it should be soon, but uh, we should be able to have that for you guys. Or if you just want to just email us, we can do that for you right now. If you want yep. to come to the studio and uh, learn from either me or Parker or one of our trusted uh, in producers. Yeah. Uh, we will. Get all Hollywood out. We, yeah. Come to Hollywood. Or like we do lessons through Skype or some other online fucking platform. But Exactly. I, th I think I got it all right. I think we I think we nailed it right on the head. Should we play this out? Yeah, let's play let's, it out. Let's get some worship going. I think right. it's great. One, two. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Raul. Thanks, Baker. You're welcome. Thanks, Nick. Nick's in the back. All right, let's fuck worship. it. Let's worship. Hands up. Let's worship. Hands up.